Hello and welcome to How To Go Automotive. I'm Brian Essick and in today's video I'm going to see if I can give you guys some inspiration for your next off-road vehicle build or purchase new or used. And this video is brought to you by your local California mortgage professional. Should you refi? Could you refi? If you're in California and you have mortgage questions, I have mortgage answers. So give me a call. Let's see if we can save you some money. And what better place to get inspiration from than the 2021 SEMA show. SEMA stands for Specialty Equipment Marketing Association, which means it's all about the aftermarket world for the automotive industry. So this is a trade show where hundreds of thousands of people get together and show off their new accessories and new products for the aftermarket world in the automotive industry. So in this video, we're going to feature the best of the best off-road vehicles for the 2021 SEMA show. So come with me and we're going to check them all out. So if you're into mild to wild to mall crawlers to purpose-built off-road rigs or overlanding vehicles, they got it all here at the SEMA show. So if you want to build something crazy like this side-by-side or if you're interested in the future of automotive such as electric vehicles, this is a Hummer put out by General Motors. Here's an example of a mall crawler Jeep or a functional Jeep that you could take out on the trails here. Here's an example of some doors that I would like to put on my personal Jeep here. I love the, uh, di the dimple die in the door. For you guys that are wanting to buy a vehicle that you can go out with, here's a concept vehicle that's coming out by Jeep or possibly coming out. It's called the Overlook. What makes this vehicle different is it's 12 inches longer than your standard Jeep. It has an extra third row of seats in it. So if you're looking to get your family involved, this may be the perfect vehicle for you. So like I said, this is a concept vehicle, but I do have a feeling that they're going to come out with it. It got very good response from the uh, pictures and stuff online, and uh, there was a big crowd around this vehicle. Uh, like I said, it was, sets this one apart as the extra third row of seats in it. All the seats would fold down. If you also notice, it has the lookout panels at the top of the roof there, so it gives a, the, a kind of a panoramic view in it. One other unique feature about this vehicle is instead of having the split top uh, Freedom Tops, it has a one piece removable top here. So it looks like this vehicle will seat seven, two in the front, three in the middle, and two in the back here. This next vehicle in the lineup here was created by Richard Rawlings at the Gas Monkey Garage in Dallas, Texas. This started life as a Polaris slingshot. They put a little lift kit on it and made it a little bit different than all the other ones out there. My personal favorite type of vehicle are the purpose-built, you know, desert trucks as you see right here this one's pretty awesome this is this one's kind of like a pre-runner style that you would see ball hauling through the desert one of the things i love about off-road vehicles is you can create what you want you can do just about anything to the vehicles from this crazy uh, jk here or you can do something wild like this brand new ford bronco that they turned into a chia pet here we're moving into the, some of the newer vehicles and some of the overland vehicles and stuff that I ran into at the uh, SEMA show. This is one of the new Jeep Rubicons. I love the red interior and then the, all the windows that come out. You know, just gives you that open feeling. So this could be the future of off-roading. This is a full electric Hummer uh, put out by General Motors coming out. This vehicle had crazy torque and horsepower numbers. Um, the batteries are getting better and better all the time. And, you know, the, the distance you can travel in them are getting better and better all the time. So 
I wouldn't rule out electric vehicles for the off-road world in the future. As you can see right here, General Motors is getting behind it and you can accessorize it to the moon. The new Ford Bronco was a big hit at this show. There were close to 150 of them here at the SEMA show in 2021. I was studying this vehicle really hard. I love the suspension on it. What I love about the SEMA show is you never know what you're going to see. So this is the future where they're converting older vehicles. This Toyota Land Cruiser here, they convert it into a full electric vehicle. So no matter what you're into, if you go to a show like the SEMA show, you're going to find something that's going to inspire you. So Ford was there putting on a show with their brand new Ford Bronco. I have a feeling that the uh, Ford Bronco is going to make a huge splash in the off-road world. More and more people are going to jump on the bandwagon and get these vehicles and go out there and enjoy them on the trails, camping, overlanding, all that stuff. So I hope this video has inspired you to find that next project or, or build or go out and buy that next vehicle. I'm Brynas from How To Automotive. I'd like to thank you guys for watching.